Hi, Harvey back here again at Radnor Valley Country Club. Today we're going to work on completing the full backswing for the forehand and the backhand. Just to quickly revisit, last week we said just before you hit a shot, the racket has to be in that position, which I call number two. And on the backhand, two-handed or one-handed, it has to be in this position just before you come forward to hit the ball. It be one-handed coming forward like that. Today, we're going to expand on getting it there. Now, number one position, in my opinion, is to have the racket up here to then get the momentum to go there and then do that. Backhand, racket up here, number one, to number two, which we did last week, and then you can hit like that. Now, on the backhand, you can have the racket slightly lower because it's two hands and the left hand controls it down there. But mainly on the forehand, you do go to the number one position there. You can get it there a number of ways. You can go slowly in a circle like that, like a C shape. You can go slowly in a C shape like that, that position. But look at the wrist position. Look at the wrist position. It's very important there. It's not like this. It's not like this. And then from there, if I feed a ball, I can then practice feeding. I can start in number one, go to number two and hit. Normally in one go, one, two and hit. Backhand, I can start here, one, two and hit. Continuity of the swing is very important. So you go there, and hit, go there and hit. Don't go up, down and wait. Don't go up, down and wait. That completes the backswing on the forehand and the backhand. I hope that's been useful. And next week we're going to get onto the serve and develop the whole serve. Thank you.